today we are cooking a signature dish by my grandma, mutton peratal. Amazing with rice on a banana leaf and some brassam. Watch Grandmother Approved Malaysian Indian Recipes and Tips. You're watching The Spice Table. Mutton Peratal Ingredients You will need Mutton Potatoes Red Onions Garlic Ginger Radish Large Green Chilies Turmeric Chilli Powder Meat Curry Powder Cinnamon Star Anise Cloves Fennel Seeds and last but not least, curry leaves. Pour some water into a pot and bring that to a simmer. Once it's hot, add in two slices of ginger and add in the chopped pieces of mutton. The reason we are doing this is to prevent the scum from coming out in our gravy. Do you see that white pieces of fats and scum that's rising on top of the water? We are going to discard that so that we'll have a silky, glossy and actually slightly healthier gravy. This step is optional but we highly recommend it. After 15 minutes, remove the mutton and set that aside. The onions are divided into two parts half for blending into the ginger garlic paste and another half for sautéing for the gravy. Add the onions, about one and a half onions, ginger and garlic with a bit of water, about quarter cup and grind it to a paste. Using a grinder is always easy and you get a wonderful paste. We have half a radish here and we're going to dice that into large chunks. We use radish to add more volume to the gravy and radish is versatile in the sense that it absorbs the fats in the gravy. Firstly, we're going to lightly fry the radish to remove the unpleasant aroma and improve its flavour and texture. About 3 to 4 or maybe 5 minutes is fine. Add more oil and next we're going to fry the chopped potatoes until slightly golden brown. This way, your potatoes will still retain its form and you will still have a nice bite to your potatoes, radish and mutton. This would take about 10 minutes. Remove most of the oil, just enough to start on the gravy. Add in the cinnamon, star anise, and then your fennel seeds. One and a half sliced onions, curry leaves, and saute for three to four minutes until the onions are slightly golden brown. Now, we're going to add our ginger garlic paste and saute that until the raw smell of the garlic is gone. This would take also 3 to 4 minutes. And once that's done, we're going to add in our delicious mutton.
add in 2 teaspoons of turmeric, about 2 to 3 teaspoons of salt according to your taste and a splash of vinegar. This is optional. It helps the cooking process because we are not using a pressure cooker. We're just going to let the mutton simmer all throughout in this same pot. Add in one and a half cups of water and bring this to a nice gentle simmer on a medium flame for 15 to 20 minutes and keep stirring occasionally to prevent burning. This is after 15 to 20 minutes. The gravy has thickened and the mutton is about half done. Now we're going to add our chilli powder, that's 3 tablespoons of chilli powder. Give that a good mix. Oh, already it smells so good. 3 tablespoons of meat curry powder. And now we're going to add in two cups of water. That's the second cup. Again, on a medium flame, let this cook for at least 15 to 20 minutes or even 30 minutes, depending on the mutton. As you can see, the gravy is nice and glossy without scum. This is because we boiled the mutton. So we have a more beautiful looking gravy, which is also healthier. In goes the potatoes, the radish, and two green chilies, large green chilies, which give an amazing aroma. An extra ingredient is to add some sugar. This is optional, but it improves the flavor. Mix everything well, and now you just need to make the gravy thicker and thicker. To finish, add in one stalk of curry leaves and mix it well. Your mutton paratal is almost done. Enjoy with rice and rasam. You will never go back. Enjoy!